Now, some things I did beforehand to prepare for this video is I soaked an eight by four inch piece of dried seaweed onto four cups of water overnight in order to make that stock. And then earlier this morning, I submerged three chicken thighs into a wet brine and it's been submerged for about you know, six hours now. And also busted out the pasta machine so we can make our ramen noodles. Now for the chicken thighs, I'm gonna take it out of this wet brine. I'm gonna pat it dry, add it onto the skillet, broil it for 10 minutes, probably five minutes each side. So at this point, the chicken is being broiled, the stock is being simmered, and the eggs are being soft boiled. Now we take a look at our dough. The eggs are boiling, I'm gonna turn it to a low. Five more minutes for the chicken. Ugh. Wasn't me. I smell smoky. Now we add it in here. Nice. One, two, three. We have it all. The ramen broth, the ramen, three bowls, soft boiled eggs, seaweed, green onions, kernels.
This is hard boiled. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's homemade chicken ramen from scratch. I had fun, that was a lot of fun. This required a lot of steps, but it was fun. It looks like, it, it looks pretty. I bet it tastes good as well. I tasted the broth and it, it was pretty good. The chicken tastes good, I took a bite out of it. Noodles, I could have done better, but the taste of it is also good. For the toppings, I have hard boiled eggs now. I wanted soft boiled, but I let it boil too much. We also have seaweed and we also have corn kernels. My first time ever making ramen from scratch, forever. Assembling all three bowls and seeing it all come together was definitely my favorite part. And I will definitely make this again. But that's it for me today in this video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing a space with me here at our virtual table. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below what your favorite type of ramen is or what you thought of this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. In honor of AAPI Month this May, we are cooking all Asian or Asian-inspired dishes throughout the month. So come join us.